Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central. And on this video, we're going to look at how to organize your bank account bonuses. Uh, whenever I explain to others about collecting bank bonuses, the most often question I get is, how do I organize all my bank accounts? Uh, we're gonna use uh, Google Sheets for this because Google Sheets automatically saves your work. There is nothing worse than losing your unsaved work, especially if that leads to losing out on bonuses. To use Google Sheets, go to google.com and log into your account if you're not already logged in. Now you're gonna look here on the right side. If you have a circle with a letter in it, that means you are logged in. Now, if you're logged in, you're gonna click on the nine square box and then you're gonna scroll down until you see Sheets. Uh, Sheets is a, it's a green color app. Now, once you open up a new sheet, we're gonna make three columns on the top. And now let's start looking at those three columns. Now you can customize your columns based upon how much detail you wanna track. Here's what I consider important to me. Bonuses received, bonuses in progress, and bonuses to consider. The first column is the green column, the money column. This is the one you want to fill up. This is the most exciting column because this is where you track the bonuses you have already received. Um, now here's a sheet with bonuses I've already uh, received recently. I've made videos on these. I uh, had a video on UMB Bank, uh, which was a $500 bonus. That $500 bonus broke down to $200 for savings and $300 for checking. I received those. I also received $300 from Whitney Bank. Now, wouldn't it be amazing for Google Sheets to automatically add up all your money? Yes. So what you want to do is you want to highlight your numbers that you want to add up. So the 200 plus 300 plus 300, you just highlight that section. You go to the right-hand side and you're gonna see this uh, green E shape thing. That's called Sigma. Sigma, and then uh, you're gonna have this drop-down menu. You're gonna push the button sum. Sum means you're gonna add them all together. So this is how I got the 800 here. I wrote out the word total, and then I filled in the squares or the rectangles with the green color. Green is money, already received. Awesome. Now, you, uh, there's also an action section to remind you of what type of action plan you have for each account. Uh, I use ABC. Uh, remember, always be closing, right? UMB savings, UMB checking, I already shut those down. Whitney Bank, uh, collected 300. For Whitney Bank, I uh, hit them every single year because you can. Um, I need to close it. Uh, typical rule of thumb I like with Whitney Bank is if I open an account in 2020, I want to just shut it down in 2020 and have no problem getting another account in 2021. I am here to collect bank account bonuses, not bank accounts. Um, this is a very, free, uh, very recent uh, reminder. If you get anything from this video about this particular uh, part of this subject, now, um, uh, this is a Capital One 360. I just made a video about this. Capital One is not known for their uh, checking bonuses. Imagine losing out on an easy $400 Capital One 360 bonus because you closed your 360 checking account on January 2, 2018. Sad face. So this is straight from the Capital One website screenshot. If you have or have, if you have or had a open 360 checking account as primary or secondary account holder on or after January 1, 2018, you will be ineligible for this bonus. Also, if your account is in default, closure suspended or otherwise not in good standing, you will not receive the bonus. So basically, um, you wanna start looking around this type of year, uh, the, uh, November, December, shut these accounts down that you don't plan on keeping. So I lost out on this one because I opened my account. I only got a hundred dollar bonus in mid 2018. I've kept Capital One as a hub account, made a whole video about that. I'm not gonna repeat the whole video. Next, the next section is the most important to keep track of. This is where you track what you still need to do to collect your bonus. This is where you make your money. 
this is where you lose your money, right? Super important. Don't open up more accounts than you can make sure you're actually collecting because that, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so different bank accounts require different uh, requirements. For example, uh, let's look at how I have this uh, laid out, bonus in progress, amount, requirements left to do, right? This is the most important thing. Comerica Bank, uh, I'm in the middle of this one. It's a $200 bonus. Uh, I needed to give them a total of three direct deposits. They already received two. So they just need to receive one more direct deposit. As soon as they get that one direct deposit, I'm collecting my money. I'm shutting them down. This is going to go from the or, uh, yellow section to the green section, right? Bank of America business credit card. Um, I need to spend five thousand. I haven't done that yet. I'm about to do that. That's a five hundred fifty dollar bonus. Citibank checking account bonus of four hundred dollars. I have nothing left to do, just wait. I check on this every few days because I know it is getting really close to when they pay out. So this is a grand total of $1,150, as I call, in the pipeline. It's always good to have stuff in the pipeline as long as you know how to meet all the requirements to do so. So you put in as little or as much detail as you want to hear. Uh, most important thing, know what you need to do to collect your bonus. Next. The final section is for the bonuses that you are considering in the future. This is stuff uh, that may or may not go in the pipeline. Uh, this is broken down to, to consider, amount, and requirement. BB&T, um, you can go to uh, amazing websites such as everybankbonus.com. Shout out to Phil. Uh, appreciate you and your hard work in putting that amazing website together or doctor of credit there's other places you can look to find these bank accounts so this is where you're considering in the future i saw this bb t on facebook um it's a 200 dollars bonus to receive two direct deposits i'm not sure where i'm going to send my direct deposits next uh bb t in 2020 earlier i received a 600 dollars bonus for a few direct deposits. So obviously a $600 bonus is much better than a $200 bonus. So this is just seeing what I'm considering in the future. PNC has a business checking. That's a $500 bonus requirement, $30,000 deposit. So in the pipeline, I currently have $700, right? So this is how to organize that. Uh, here is a final view of all the three columns. Uh, bonuses received. There's only three there. Uh, that's a great place to start. It's not a good place to finish. But anyways, I mean, even if you do a few of these, if you get an extra 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, I average about 10,000 per year on these bonuses. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's credit cards or whether it's um, checking or savings accounts. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I average around ten thousand dollars, and that's one thing. That's why I make these videos. I want to help people make additional money. I want them to learn how to turn their simple things, such as direct deposits, into extra cash in your hand. This is a very difficult time for a lot of people, and anything I can do to help you be organized with this, then this is the whole point of this channel. Um, Let's see, keep in mind, I use separate software. I use Microsoft Money to track all the individual transactions on each account. I also use my cell phone calendar to track when I can close an account so I can be eligible to open a new account for a new bonus. For example, I know Chase checking account. The requirement there is six months. So once I open an account with them, whether or not it is a keeper account or if it's a burner account, Burner account, you just open them, you collect the bonus, you burn it, you shut them down. So you can collect the next one. You want to um, just get into the habit of just, as soon as you open an account, you go to um, ask Google, hey, when is six months and three days from today? So you'll know that you gave yourself a little bit extra cushion. So for, if you open a Chase account, for example, as a burner account, you know, if you close it one day early, they can claw back your bonus. And that is not a good place to be because you're in the business as I am 
I call it actually a sport because this is pretty fun for me. You're in the, this is the sport. The way you win in this game is to collect bonuses and not lose them. Um, another thing about Microsoft Money is a uh, cool feature. I mean, there's so many different apps nowadays. Uh, I'm not going to make any video about all those. Microsoft Money is you can differentiate between closed accounts and open accounts. So like for Citibank, for example, I have open and closed a ton of those. So I have in my closed accounts, I have a Citibank 1, Citibank 2, Citibank 3, Citibank 4. I could look at each one of those and see the exact date when those accounts were opened when I collected the bonus and when I shut them down. So I know what is, uh, sorry about that. So what what I, I need to do in order to make sure I am eligible for all the bonuses I can be. Um, cell phone calendars like BBVA, I'm, there's offers right now, but I know I can't hit those until middle of Jan July, I'm sorry, January, uh, because they have such a long window that you have to be out of the game before you can be eligible for another account. Um, I hope you found this uh, video informative. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I make videos on a very frequent basis to help others. Uh, so please subscribe, like, and share with anyone you think may benefit from this. Uh, please let me know what you think about this. I'm trying something brand new uh, in this type of format to where uh, it's more of a tutorial. Anyways, so I will see you on the next one. Appreciate your time. Peace.